everybody! We're continuing this November nostalgia trip with another episode of What's in That Box? Uh, for those of you who might not have watched the first one, before I moved out of my parents' house, I had a lot of like old decorations and figures and stuff that I had had with me when I lived in my college dorms, uh, my first apartment, um, and I just kind of stored them in the closet in these Tupperware Tupperware type containers. As you can tell by the dust. Yeah, as you can tell by the dust, they've been sitting. Uh, I moved out about six years ago. <sighs> yeah, just so, over six years just ago. Just about six years ago. So the first box we did was a really big one. So today we decided to do two smaller ones. And I'm not entirely sure what's in here, but I can see some definite interesting things. We're gonna start right here with Commander William Riker. Um, I actually met uh, Jonathan Frakes at Comic-Con a couple of years ago and it was really embarrassing because I was like crying and upset. Weird, <laughs> weird. I don't even remember. You know what? Jonathan Frakes is still nice. Oh yeah, no, he's a cool dude. Represent. Riker um, was so cute. Staying in the Star Trek vein, um, I'm pretty sure that's Scotty. This is Scotty from the twenty, the early 2010 Star Trek. And I remember these being so weird. I thought it was 2009. I don't remember when it was, but I remember these being weird because the the yeah, this is stretchy fab, stretchy plastic. But just like the vest but, portion, yeah, just the, the vest. arms are like, red. The ar the arms are normal. Like, I never even took the plastic off and of then, his phaser. And then, no, you can pull it up and they have, like, nude chests under. Yeah, like, he's got a torso. This is weird. I don't remember. I think I have another, uh... I had Chekhov and Bones, and I think you had... Did I have Captain Fine? I think you had Captain Fine and, uh, Scotty. I remember I had Scotty because I really liked, um... What's his butt? Simon Pegg. Simon Pegg. And we could never find Spock. Yeah. Um, or Sulu. Yeah. So, in a completely different direction. This what is, is that? That freaky thing? Yeah. yeah. That's right. It's a naked mole rat. Uh, this is Rufus from Kim Possible. Um, he squeaks. Um, oh my God. this is his like Bueno Nacho. Uh, this is a 2003 Happy Meal toy. I can't believe I still have this. I'm so stoked. Oh my god, uh, I love it. So, I loved Kim Possible. Kim Possible ruled. <laughs> and now we have some strange choices. This is Pain from Final Fantasy X-2. And I'm so bummed because it appears that her sword broke. Uh, like, it used to just kind of, like, sit in her hand. And the handle of the sword, it must have, like, adhered in. The handle of the sword is still in her hand but the sword snapped off at some That's point. That's nothing a little nail glue can't fix. That's true. Um, I, confession, I never actually played Final Fantasy X. Yeah, II. because it got stolen from our house yeah. by a thief. Yeah, somebody, st we, well, I'm pretty sure we know exactly who yeah, it was Yeah, a no it. good thief. Yo, I'm gonna call you out. Kyle, give us back our freaking Final Fantasy X too. Um, I know you have it, but unless you sold it to like GameStop or something. Probably, bitch. Anyway, uh, this Stop is Pain from Final Fantasy X-2, a game I never actually played, but I loved her outfit because I am just a big dumb goth at heart and always have been. Um, That's actually, a really nice stand. Yeah, she had like a really nice stand. It's definitely yellowed with oh, age. Oh, yeah, it has, but the figure um, hasn't. The figure hasn't. I used to keep this on like my windowsill in college. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't believe I had friends. But, oh, here's... Who the fuck is this? Is this... Chris Pine? Is this yeah. supposed to be Chris That's Pine? That's Captain Pine. It's, yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Because These were terrible figures. Their faces are so bad. Um, but again, he's still got his phaser. This was, okay. Uh, this right here. Yep. So this is Ryoko from Tenji Muyo. Uh, she used to have like an energy sword or something in her hand. And that seems to have gone missing. I don't know where that is. It's probably elsewhere in the box. Or no, it's not box. in the box. Uh, speaking of other things in this box, this is Omega Red, everybody's favorite communist supervillain. Um, this was from, oh, I think this is the Marvel Legends series, but it was one of the ones that we got. It was me and like my friend Mikey 
and a couple others, and we tried to get like the um, Phoenix. No, it wasn't Phoenix. He was looking for Phoenix. Right, he was looking for Phoenix, but it was one of those build a figure sets with like Colossus. I think this was the Colossus set. And I also had like a Black Panther, but I think Black Panther got sold at a yard sale. I kept Omega Red because Omega Red is crazy cool um, and also covered in dust. Elise's brand in college was also very communist leaning. It, it was. So the next thing, uh, this is, I think this must have been from like a figure that I got at Mitsuwa, but it is Baneri from Pokemon Gen 4. Gen 4 was still like brand new at that point in time. Yeah. And then we have, speaking of Gen 4, uh, we several have little Pokemon figures Cherubi. Uh, this is copyright 2008. Then we've got Rosalia. Uh, and we've got a Cressalia. This is Rosalia's a different figure. Mom. I don't remember. This is like came in two parts. It's really strange. I oh, I think you're supposed to keep candy in that. No, I think it came from candy. I don't remember. If anybody can identify this Cressalia, let me know. Um... And we also have a Mudkip, because Mudkip freaking rules. I think I got you that for Christmas. You did. I actually have two of them, because you got me one for Christmas, and so did my old roommate, Rachel. This is... Throw that out. I don't care what it is. Ooh. It's elderly, and it should go. This is old, old like, Burt's Bees hand lotion. No! No, you do not smell the ancient lotion. It actually smells great still. Um, this is, like... Things that you take out of a tomb and you don't touch. But it's a Burt's Bees Thoroughly Therapeutic Honey and Orange Wax Body Lotion. Uh, and then, oh, this is all in like pieces right now. But. Oh, shit! That guy's relevant these days! Yeah. And he uh, wasn't really when we were in college. No, because I was in college before the Marvel movies really started coming out. We were in college squarely before Disney acquired the rights to Marvel. Um, so all of the Avengers stuff was basically just for, like, actual comic book fans. Yeah. And we would have to go to comic book stores to find it. So this was a Thor build-a-figure, because Thor has always been and will forever be extremely my dude. But we didn't know how pure of heart and dumb of ass he was it's at the true. time. It's true. This is before any of the Marvel movies came out. Like, I think maybe by my last, I remember, okay, my last year of grad school, I went to go see the first Thor movie with a bunch of friends, but that was in like July. Uh, this right here, this is another, um, I don't think this is the same, this, oh no, this was the stand that went with my Dark Chi, which I don't have currently, I don't know where that went. It's in a different box. It must be in a different box. Um, uh, and think this that's is, in the other, in the big box, yeah. And this is... Kagome! No! I know. This is, um, what's her name? Oh, I can't remember her name. This was the character that I always mained in Soul in Calibur. Soul Calibur uh, because we had the Soul Calibur for PS2 that my roommate had. And we used I used to just kick everybody's ass because I button smashed. Um, I can't do that anymore. I'm not very good at fighting games. But I had a lot of fun with this. Taki? I think this is Taki? Yeah, this is Taki, because it's not Tira. Tira was the one with the giant, like, hula hoop of death. Uh, she didn't come out for the next until the next game. And I then at the, the bottom... Game precisely once. Uh, this appears to be a laid-up dolphin. <gasps> it's so still light. lights up. Uh, this it's always is nice to find like something that doesn't have corroded batteries. A miniature Gundam figure that I think I got from, like, a... Gotcha. A gotcha or a vending machine. It was more like a vending machine. Please throw me that because I know it's mine. Um, no, we both have one because this is from the GRWIB One Stop Career Center. I got oh, this. Oh, okay. I got this at the 4-H fair one year. Mine was much higher quality and it yeah. came from school. We blew and our... This is, this is one of the stands for one of the Star <sighs> Trek figures. We no, cleaned don't out even... the choir budget one year buying kazoos. We and only this... made 20 of them. This is the Monster High doll brush from my very first Monster High doll, which was the original Ghoulia. I have so many of these brushes. I think there's actually a tube under my bed exclusively of doll brushes. So I think I will save the second box for another video. So stay tuned. We'll come back with that one at another point. But right now, I think this is a good place to cut it for this. So what did you think? Um, how do you, or what did you think of my interesting college tour here? Were there any figures that you would have considered owning? 
Uh, were there any figures that you have been like, Elise, why do you even have this? Probably the Omega Red people wouldn't understand. Yeah. Because I, I don't think he's a big deal now. No, I don't think he's that big of a deal. But I loved him. And this figure is so sturdy and durable. Hard to pose. Always yeah, been hard always to pose. Always hard to pose. Uh, but yeah, so that being said, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I hope you liked it. I, I really like doing these kind of like nostalgia trip, trip down memory lane sort of videos. And though I am running out of boxes, I still have plenty more to do. So um, my social media links are in the description below. If you would like to see more from this channel, more nostalgia trip, more unboxings, more stuff like that, I've got a whole bunch of them and I will link some at the end of this video. Uh, if you would like to stay in touch with this channel and like to stick around and see more of what we do, hit that little subscribe button. Click the little bell, because if you want to stay in the know, the bell's the way to go. Likes and comments, let me know to keep doing what I'm doing, and I'll see ya in the next video. Later!